Okay, I'm Jeff Gordon with Gordon Brothers and Kamiak Vineyards, and uh, we have been here since uh, bought the property in 1978. We have uh, started planting grapes in uh, 1980, and our first question was in 1983. Well, we own about 300 acres here, but uh, we only have 100 acres in. Uh, in, in grapes at this time. We do other things. We do some uh, sweet cherries and uh, sweet corn and melons and stuff. We do all of that okay. organically. Well, uh, the average high for right now is about 94, 95 degrees, and uh, the average low is about 60 degrees. So we get a big spread, and that's really important for the quality of the fruit. Uh, we maintain its acids as, as cold as it gets here it can get really cold in the winter time last year we picked uh, our ice wine at zero degrees Fahrenheit and uh, we've recorded temperatures uh, and recorded temperatures about minus seven minus eight here we have uh, Chardonnay Sauvignon Blanc and uh, an acre of Gewürztraminer for whites and then we have Merlot, uh, Cabernet, uh, Syrah, the majors for our reds, we're also experimenting with Malbec, Tempranillo, and Petit Verdot, and we're going to start, we're going to plant some uh, Petit Syrah here pretty quick, to just try them, see how they work. This region gets about seven inches of water a year, mm -hmm. um, which makes it ideal for growing grapes, um, and it makes it very easy for us to control our canopy. Okay. So, okay. Uh, water is very important. Uh, if you can look down the row, you can see that our canopies aren't overly vigorous. Right. Um, they're pretty well under control. Okay. So, nice. That helps. You know, sh shading is very important in, in uh, producing high-quality wine grapes. estate grown fruit. Mm -hmm. That's the key to our program and that's the key to the Gordon Brothers brand. As far as the decisions that I make with um, in respect to the wines, it's all about maximizing our estate vineyard here. Mm -hmm. yeah, and as I, as I said earlier, the key to our brand is the estate grown fruit. Right. That's our biggest advantage. That's the defining characteristic of our wine. Mm -hmm. So I consider it my job to maximize the character coming off of the estate here and not mask it. You know, the favorite thing is, my favorite thing is probably when the wine comes together, when you've got right. all the pieces into place right before bottling and you can smell and taste, you know, what the wine is going to be, you know, down the road and what, what the consumer is eventually going to be able to see and taste. American oak, we're about 60% American, about 40% French, with a, this isn't going to fit into the percentages, but a smattering of, of Hungarian and European oak. Okay. Um, cooperage wise, we're purchasing from roughly 20 plus different Coopers manufacturers of barrels. Nice. And within those Coopers, um, I'm generally buying two to three different types of barrels from each manufacturer, from each Cooper. Oh, wow. Nice. Um, that probably helps to provide some texture and depth. And, uh... The idea is, is components, spice components, okay. um, bringing different flavors, different textures mm -hmm. to the wines, Okay. providing layers of flavor. Right. Um, question then, about how long do you keep your wines in oak, or does it, I imagine it probably varies it, some? It, it will vary quite a bit, it will mm -hmm. vary from vintage to vintage depending on the wines. Typically the whites, the, the Chardonnay is in barrel for about about eight months. Okay. The reserve Chardonnay is in barrel for about 10 months. The reds are typically in barrel for about 16 to 18 months. Okay. Uh, the reserve reds, we are in barrel for about two years. 